I'm Carmel Sherman, and for the last two years I've gone on a mission to the Ivory Coast in West Africa. And two years ago I was accepted onto the team, and this was so exciting because I had waited for 10 years for the right time for God to say it was my time to go to, to Africa on this mission. And I was so excited, but at the same time I was petrified. My plans were ready to go this year to Africa, and the Sunday before I left, Pastor Dacus spoke on getting out of the boat. And I thought, oh yes, of course, I'm going to Africa. That's way out of the boat. But in the back of my mind, I was returning with familiar people, familiar supplies, a familiar location to a familiar job that I was doing in Africa. And so I really didn't have that much unsurety until the first evening I arrived in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, West Africa, and I found myself in a room by myself, separated from the rest of the gr group with the chair slid under the lock of the door and I'm in the middle of the bed with my suitcase in my lap and there's little geckos running around the floor and I said, Pastor Dacus, I am out of the boat. This is very uncomfortable and very unfamiliar to me. The Africa time is waiting. It's waiting for transportation, waiting for interpreters. It's waiting for the chief. It's waiting for the container to bring the supplies that you need to do the job. And in Africa, it seems like nothing is going to get done. But then there's God's time. And in God's time, the supplies that you need are there. You just don't know what they are. The people are there that have the need. You just haven't realized who they are. And the job that he wants to get done is, is always done. And this was the case in Africa, that there were more surgeries performed this year than they had ever been able to perform before. A man that had waited three years for a life-threatening surgery, the suitcase that held the items that had to be used in this surgery that was lost was found and delivered to the compound. The container did arrive, but with only three days left. But in three days, 15 men built a, a, a school that 300 children will be able to go to school in. A building was taken down and two churches were built in its place out of the supplies that God had provided for us. 